Hello again, friends. It is T-Bone Pearson here. Um, as you know, I just hit my mic. As you know, I'm working on a sci-fi short. Uh, it's gonna be like, yeah, like 10 minutes long. And I'm making all sorts of like sci-fi type stuff and it's sort of fun. It's fun to be building cool stuff. Anyways, there's this like crazy gun that shoots, uh, uses crystals for power and blasts crazy power at villains. Um, so I've been thinking about uh, what it's supposed to look like, going on Google, figuring out what I could buy, because that's the easiest thing to do. You just buy it and it saves me from having to build it. Uh, because my time is precious and I don't want to be, I'd rather someone who is an expert in it builds it for me. Uh, if it's at a reasonable price, I don't mind paying a little bit of money for some uh, quality stuff. But I really couldn't find exactly what I wanted. Um, or they, yeah, no, I, I just couldn't. I couldn't find what I wanted. So it looks like I'm going to be making the gun. Even with the, the other video I did about the crystal, uh, I looked into what I could buy and I just wasn't uh, happy. They were made of glass and my actors are going to have these crystals in their hands. Uh, the crystals go into the gun. Uh, and they, they're, they're going to be dropping them in scenes and stuff. And, and they were made of glass and they're very expensive. So that won't do. Don't need glass on the, <laughs> on the floor when actors are running around in their bare feet. No, there's no bare feet. It's not like Die Hard, Die Hard with Bruce Willis uh, running around. Anyway, so I went to my local flea market and I picked up this bad boy. So uh, it spins because I, I wanted uh, the gun to spin. So actually, I, I can see on the monitor what it looks like. It looks like it's pretty cool on camera. So I, I could put like a little servo motor on here and have this thing spinning. And then put a handle down. Either the handle is going to come back. I'm going to screw, unscrew this. It's already screwed in. I'm going to unscrew this piece here and take it off. And then I have a back piece. And I, funny enough, I don't know if it's actually funny, but weirdly enough, I found this uh, thing called a 3D scope, stereo optic scope type thing from like back in the 60s where you stuck your eyes in it. And it looked like it would perfectly fit on the end of here. It looked super cool. I didn't know what it was. Uh, same with this thing. I didn't quite know it, what it was when I first saw it. It looks like it's some type of like, you put liquor bottles in it um, and then, <laughs> oh, do they, I don't know where the liquid comes out of. I have no idea. I haven't really played around with it, but it looked weird enough. And I asked some people at the flea market, what is this thing? And they didn't know. So that's good if you're making some type of sci-fi type thing. Uh, but yeah, so this is my... <laughs> uh, I'm either going to put an extra handle. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. Yes, you can. An extra handle here. And then this thing spins like that. Or I'm going to put some big thing back here too. The crystals have to go inside uh, a device. So something's going to go here. But the little handle could go here. And then the big handle can go back like that and feel like a badass. Uh, what do you guys think? Or it's going to be like this. The handle's in here, and then the other handle's here, and then put another nozzle here. Uh, but yeah, so this is like my starting point <laughs> for uh, my Gatling gun type sci-fi weapon. What do you guys think? Where should the handle go? At the front? Like the second handle, the first handle. And then this is the trigger handle here. That's my thoughts. Or it's going to be like here, and then this one will be back here. What do you guys think? Should it go at the front, the handle, uh, or should the handle go here? And I'm talking about the front handle. We're talking about the front handle here. <laughs> so, uh, uh, yeah. Anyways, oh, the reason why I didn't buy that uh, spectro electro scope thingy, it was like $275. I got that for $20. So that's doable. That's good. Um, but anyways, I asked it, you know, could he go lower on it? And it went down to $200, but that's still for a prop. Unless it's the piece I need. If it's a piece I need, if there's nothing else I can put in here for a lower cost, I might have to bite the bullet and save up and buy it. But anyways, guys, what do you think of my gun? Uh, I will keep you guys up to speed on how it's going with this thing. It's really fun making props uh, for films, uh, especially when it's like sci-fi stuff. Um, Any hoots, I will talk to you guys later. Please comment below, like, and subscribe, and I will talk to you guys later. Cheers! Bye.